Hey guys, my name is Anup, and in this video, we are going to learn how to create a new vendor in WooCommerce product vendor. So basically, WooCommerce product vendor is used to create multi-vendor e-commerce store where multiple sellers are selling their products on their on your website, and you are taking commission from them on each order. So let's get started. So basically, uh, you have to do what? You have to go into users and you have to click on Add User. Once you are over here, you have to uh, use the same steps as you use in creating any user. Let's suppose I am uh, creating next gen vendor, and then if you don't want to create, then you can hide it and you can send user about the document. So if you are checked with this, the uh, WordPress will send automatically a notification on that. And now you want to create a vendor ID. So this is a vendor ID. And now you are you adding here. So I'm keeping a simple password is admin at one two three. Confirm the password. And then we have added a user. Now uh, let me log in with the same user, and let's see what happens actually. So I have entered the username password, and I'm logged in. So you can see uh, this uh, system is giving an error. Your account is not authorized to manage any vendors because we have just created only a user. We haven't associated with any vendor. So if we see, so you have created a user over here, and now you have created a vendor and associated this user with that vendor. So we'll go in the product and we'll go in the vendors. So from here we are going to create a vendor. Now uh, we are creating a vendor. Next gen vendor. This is the URL of the store. So let me sing next gen vendor. And there is additional settings. The notes, the vendor logo, vendor profile description, email, and the admins. You can also add that. So this is the ad. ad. Admin means who can manage this vendor store. So multiple user can be added over here. So we have created a user just before means one vendor like this is the vendor and these are the users multiple users can manage one store now what is the commission type fixed about percentage so we are saying it's 10 percent and then you can save it so the vendor has been saved and it has been associated with this user so let's back to our old screen from where we are we were trying to log in so next gen so, on and admin and so if you see uh, this time I have successfully logged in so let's quickly revise what we have done we have first created a we have created a user with a user type of vendor admin and then we have created a vendor and in the vendor we have assigned the vendor admins. so these are the two steps uh, that you can do I hope you got understanding how they, they these two things are correlated with each other. So if you have any questions related to this or confusion, you can comment below on the video. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.